You could use the Maidel. They do be having the Gucci on. I just want to go to the local kindergarten and teach them what a plague rat really is. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my halfway serious guides covering all the classes in Vermintide 2. After my half year long hiatus, I am finally back at it again and ready to make some good content. With that introduction out of the way, today we're going to be looking at Kruber's DLC career, The Grail Knight. The Grail Knight is purchasable for the low, low price of $3.99. Now, most people know the Grail Knight for one thing. But the Grail Knight is more than a Chad quest giver. So let's dive into a guide on the Grail Knight. I got fuck my entire world up. Yeah. Yeah, me too, you guys. So you've probably realized by now, every one of the DLC classes has an interesting gimmick or ability on them that makes their career better than the other ones. See, this is so that Fat Shark can get all the schmeckles from its player base. Grail Knight's powerful ability is his passive, his quests, of which he has five. The quests are as follows. 10% power level for slaying 15 elites. 5% attack speed for slaying 10 specials, 10% cooldown reduction for slaying one monster, 10% damage reduction for finding one tome, and finally, health regeneration for finding one grimoire. I've went ahead and organized a special tier list just for these quests. GK's ult is called Blessed Blade. Kruber whips out the Ashbringer and smacks, or slashes, or stabs, with his holy blade and rids the world of any cringe in front of him. GK has three perks. They are Knight's Challenge, deal 25% more damage the first time you hit an enemy, Thirst for Glory, increase movement speed by 10%, and Bastion of Bretonia. Kruber can block warp fire throw attacks with his shield. You will never use this. GK's level 5 talents are the usual temp health ones. Lady's Generosity, Staggering Enemies, grants temp health based on the strength of the stagger. Lady's Wrath, Melee Killing Blows, restore temp health based on the health of the slain enemy. And then Gift of the Grail, the boring one that you only give to bots. You should obviously take Killing Blow because stagger is for losers or tanks. And you kill most things in one hit with the Bretonian Longsword and your ult also counts as melee kills. For level 10, Grail Knight can choose between Virtue of the Ideal, Killing Enemies grants 10% power for 10 seconds, stacking up to 3 times, for a total of 30% power. Virtue of the Knightly Templar, Crits instantly slay enemies if their current health is less than 4 times the damage of the crit, half effect versus bosses. And Virtue of Heroism, Power Level of Heavy Attacks is increased by 25%. Okay, so the second one, Crits instantly slay Queen, is garbage. Don't take it. So then you have the choice between 30% power for killing 3 enemies, or 25% power attacks. Okay, so you mostly use heavy attacks, so you might think, ah, oh, 25% is better, right? But that's actually not the case. Since you are constantly killing shit as Grail Knight, you're going to be at at least 3 stacks of Virtue of the Ideal. And that's already 5% more power than Virtue of Heroism. But also, that's total power, not just heavy attack power. TLDR, take Virtue of the Ideal. It just works. Alright, and then for level 15, GK has the same goddamn talents as everybody else. Bulwark. Bruh. I cannot be fucked to read this shit. It's the stagger one. Smiter. Oh my fucking god, the good one. Enhanced power. The range one. Smiter. Just take Smiter. Okay, now back to cool stuff. For level 20, Grail Knight has three pretty poggers talents. Virtue of Duty. Kruber gets one extra quest, so three instead of two. Virtue of Purity. Quest grants 15% more bonuses. In virtue of the penitent, after slaying enough enemies, you'll get a free strength pot. So the last one is the weakest of the three, but it's still good. 50% bonuses on quest is nice, but who cares when you can just get three bonuses instead of two, covering a wider range of situations and giving you a better chance of getting the good ones. For level 25, GK can choose either Virtue of Stoicism, 50% of damage taken is regenerated as temp health after 5 seconds, which resets upon taking more damage. Virtue of Discipline, parries increase power level by 20% for 6 seconds. And Virtue of the Joust, push, arc, and stamina regeneration are increased by 30%. Okay, so this one is kind 
kind of a toss-up. Just kidding, take the first one, because being able to regenerate 50% of damage taken just by not getting hit for 5 seconds afterward is fucking broken. And Boon of Shally affects it, so now you're regenerating 65%. GK's final level 30 talents all affect his ult, as per usual. Virtue of Audacity adds a second stab to the Blessed Blade that deals high single target damage. Virtue of the Impetuous Knight killing an enemy with Blessed Blade gives 35% movement speed for 15 seconds. In virtue of confidence, Blessed Blade is now a slashing effect with high cleave and stagger power. So for me, it's a choice between Stabby Stabby or Slashy Slashy. Slashy Slashy is good for wave clear, but you one-shot Storm for most of the time with your basic heavy attacks. And the only wave clear problem is the usual Chaos Patrols. And the benefits of Stabby Stabby is massive damage versus bosses, which is one of the few things Grail Knight lacks. So I prefer Stabby Stabby, but Slashy Slashy is also good depending on your playstyle. Okay, now for the weapons. So Kruber is one of the few melee only classes in the game, which means he can only take two melee weapons. So the number one melee weapon that everyone likes is a mason sword. Why? This shit's wave clear is redonkulous. The heavy heavy combo is already great wave clear, but if you do the push attack heavy, you'll send slave rats to see the great rat in the sky. For its talent, take the typical swift slaying, and for the attributes, take attack speed and crit chance. So after that typical weapon that any Gruber can take, what other standard boring weapon comes next? Maybe he represents humankind's rage, their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. The only thing they fear is him. He cut through them like like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom. The Bretonian Longsword is the best weapon in the game. No contest. This shit is so goddamn fun that I can barely even use the Mason Sword, which is objectively better than Wave Clear. I would literally rather spam heavy light slashes with this thing than pull out the Mason Sword because it is literally just that fun to play. Let me explain. This shit combined with the 30% power from 3 stacks of Virtue of the Ideal, 25% more power for hitting the first enemy, and the 20% damage from Smiter make this shit hit like a goddamn train. You can one-shot Storm Burn with this shit. It's so fun. I cannot even begin to describe the joy I feel slapping some goofy-ass rat or Northlander or Charging Minotaur with this thing. Charging a heavy attack puts you in a vulnerable position, doesn't it? So this weapon is a very high-risk, high-reward weapon, right? Nah, son. See, the BLS is unique in one specific way. When you're charging a heavy, you're also blocking. Yeah, you heard that right. When you charge a heavy attack, Kruber does his best Genji ult impersonation, and charging a heavy becomes a no risk, apart from the first half second of the charge animation, since you're now blocking. Oh, and by the way, the GK is the only career that can use this bonkers fun weapon. So there's that too. So for the BLS's talent, take Swift Slaying, as always, 
30% block cost reduction so your 3 shield block doesn't get broken by a rat sneezing on you, and 5% attack speed. Necklace take 20% health and 10% damage reduction versus area of effect damage. I like Boon of Shalia because it increases the health from virtue of stoicism. For the charm, take power versus armored and power versus infantry for breakpoints. And decanter so you can stabby stabby or slashy slashy more times, or hit like a now loaded dump truck. Trinket, take the bog standard curse resist and crit chance. I like shrapnel. One last thing before I end the video. I've been thinking about making Hunt Showdown videos alongside my Vermintide 2 videos. The Hunt Showdown videos wouldn't be as edited since it would take away from my main Vermintide 2 content, but I think that actually benefits Hunt Showdown videos more. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comments.